Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. I know it's been a while, so uh, thanks for sticking around. But basically, uh, long story short, I moved into a new house, and it's been pretty crazy. So um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to uh, make as many videos as I'd like, but uh, I'm going to try to rectify that today. Anyway, like I said, I moved into a new house, and so I needed some gadgets to get me up and running. Basically, I'm building some um, custom cabinets alongside of a fireplace that I've got in one of my lounge rooms. And uh, basically, the idea was on one side of the cabinet, I'd have like a, a hidden desk. You'd open up the doors and there'd be a desk that came out and there'd be a monitor up on the wall and all that sort of stuff, right? Problem is, I had a 32 inch monitor, pretty big, um, but it only had two HDMI ports. So I was like, hmm, I want to connect more than two things via HDMI. I figured it could be like a little workstation, can bring my laptop in there, hook it up to the monitor. But also, I wanted to run my old PlayStation 4 and my Xbox One up on a shelf above the monitor into that monitor so I can, you know, play some old games or whatever if I wanted to. I, I think it's weird saying that the PS4 and the Xbox One are old, but they are. I mean, let's be honest. Anyway, I went on Amazon. I was looking for an HDMI switch, and that's what I have in front of me. If you're not familiar with what an HDMI switch is, it's basically... Um, it can, can work in two ways. Uh, you can essentially take one source, so like let's say a computer, and then split it into two different monitors. Or what you could do is you could have two sources and then feed into one monitor and then basically you switch it with like a little button or something. Anyway, I wanted something that was relatively small uh, and also something that didn't look out of place or weird or anything like that. Some of them like really look cheap and all that sort of stuff. I just wanted something very, very simple. So I opted for this guy. It's a Porta. I think that's how you pronounce that brand. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it is obviously super tiny. I was actually surprised when this finally came in the mail. Uh, basically, it has a really long, uh, I don't know if that's its model number or what, but it's really long. I'm not going to read it out. If you want this guy, I'll put a link in the description so you can pick one up yourself. Long story short, it was pretty cheap. I think it was only about 15 Australian dollars, so, you know, pretty um, cheap. But the reason I went for this one is obviously its look and its size, but also it does not require external power. Some HDMI switches require you to plug it into the wall. I didn't want that because I wanted to cut down on the cords. But anyway, this is the guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to show you what it does. I'm going to look at, you know, it, pretty basic, so there's not much to talk about. And then I'll show you it in action, because I actually, in full disclosure, I have opened it up and used it already. Uh, but I've got it set up in my other room with the desk and everything, and I'll show you how it works. But anyway, without further ado, I know I like to talk a lot, I apologize. Uh, let's open this guy up. When you open it up, obviously the little switch is in here. It's even smaller than the box. I mean, look at this thing. Anyway, we'll put it off to the side for now so you can see what's inside of it. You got this little spacer thing so the thing doesn't bounce around the box and then inside the box you basically have the uh, like warranty card you can go on get an extended warranty um, you know there's some support stuff in the back so yada 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 then you have the user manual so again this is a bi-directional switch which means that you can use it in one of those two ways that I explained before and when you open up uh, you'll notice that basically it just shows you the operation so it's got three ports um, you know, again, you can do it in one of two ways. You can have one source that splits into two separate monitors, or you can have two sources that um, go into one monitor, and then you just hit that little selector switch depending on which device you want to see on the monitor. Um, it's pretty basic. All you got to do is plug in your HDMI, uh, and it, it's ready to go. Uh, from what I understand, and again, I'm not super, uh, you know, technical or anything, but the, the reason why this guy doesn't need any power is because uh, it draws power from the devices that are plugged into it. So um, it is passive in that way or whatever. But again, pretty stock standard instructions. Um, just follow the diagram for whatever sort of functionality you're looking for, whether that's split it into two monitors or um, you know have two sources going into one display. Anyway, this is the guy. Um, and it's, like I said, it's super tiny. I mean, honestly, it reminds me of like a pack of gum or something. Like, it's very, very small. Um, now, there is, I, I, personally, I like the design. It is very minimal. Obviously, you can see the logo there. It's just sort of embossed on there. It's not garish or anything like that. There's no, um, 
like, you know, uh, some of the ones I saw on eBay and stuff, they were like really ugly and I don't know, they just looked kind of crap. So I didn't want that. Um, this was infinitely more attractive to me. And the other thing I really liked about it is that all the HDMI ports were on the back. A lot of these switches, you know, like one of the HDMI ports is on the side or it's on the front. And I didn't want that because, like I said, I want this guy to sit on a shelf next to my two consoles. And so I want all the cables to run behind it because I want basically the cables to snake down uh, behind the monitor, use some cable channeling, make it all look nice and neat. So I wanted something where all the HDMI ports were on the back. So if you're looking for that solution as well, definitely opt for this guy. Anyway, um, build quality, I mean, look, it's all plastic, so there's nothing um, to write home about here. It's very, very basic design. Um, like I said, you've got basically the selector switch up at the top, so all you do is press that to switch um, the different sources or whatever. Um, and, you know, the bottom has this sort of, it's basically a rubber little foot um, on the whole bottom. I don't think it really works all that well, but, you know, it, it does the job, I guess. Um, if we look on the back where the HDMI's are, you, you can kind of notice if I tilt this and you can see the light reflecting off the back of it, like one portion of the back is shaded a different color to the other portion. Now the reason for that is because like if you want, this is the, um, so for my purposes, I have two sources. So my source one, like my PlayStation 4 will go in here, my Xbox One will go in here, and then this will be the one that pumps out to the um, monitor, right? Now, if you wanted to essentially split your... Um, your your laptop or whatever to two monitors, you basically run it the same way. So the laptop would go into here and then it would split out into these two guys. Um, but yeah, you gotta make sure that you are connecting them in the correct configuration, otherwise it won't work from my understanding. But yeah, so look, that's it. There's not much to write home about here. There's no external power, which is nice. All the HDMI ports are on the back, which is fantastic. It's very, very small. I mean, you can see it in relation to my keyboard here, it's tiny. Um, so it stays out of the way. It does everything that I want it to do. Now, I should mention the front here is a little screen. So like when you, or not really a screen, but it's got LEDs in the back. So like when you press the button, it will tell you what, um, you know, whether it's source one or source two or whatever. Again, it's only a, uh, you know, two sources possible. So it's not like it's super uh, confusing or anything. I mean, if you had like a five port switch or something, I can understand why you might have that. But, you know, again, it's a nice touch. Anyway, um, I'm going to shut up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this guy back up on my desk in my sort of built-in cabinet thing, and I'll show you how it works. So stick around. Okay, so um, I apologize. Uh, I'm going handheld here, so uh, there might be some janky footage. Uh, but basically, these are my built-ins. So, um, you know, I've got, um, you know, a chimney there. And uh, basically, my built-ins here, uh, custom-made. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, to my father-in-law. He helped us out quite a bit. Uh, but basically, this is sort of the setup, right? So you can see here, I've got my PlayStation 4, I've got my Xbox One, I've got some games and stuff, obviously, on this little shelf. Then I've got a 32-inch monitor mounted to the wall. Apologies for all the cables. Those are going to go into kind of cable channeling. Um, but then I've got this little desk that kind of like folds out. So when you've got the doors open, you can actually have a full-size desk. I think it came out pretty good and I mean you know let me know in the comments if you think otherwise um, but basically you can see I've got a um, you know a hard drive here connected to my Xbox one for some extra storage and I've got all my HDMI cables so this is where my switch is going to sit and basically all my cables are going to plug into the back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that all up so I'm going to connect all that up and then I'm going to turn my monitor on and turn all my consoles on and then I'll show you the functionality of the switch itself Okay, so again, I'm still in handheld mode, so I apologize, but what, this is the switch here, and you can see basically what it's telling us with these little LEDs is that obviously there is output to the monitor, and right now, this guy, which is my Xbox, uh, is the source. So if I just pull back a little bit, you can see on the monitor that obviously the Xbox One is on and it's just booting up at the moment. I've also turned my PlayStation 4 on. That is running into the back here. So now if I press that little selector switch up at the top, you notice that it switches over into the PlayStation 4. If I pull back, you'll notice that obviously the PS4 is now selected. So basically, I've got one HDMI split 
over two sources, right? If I can kind of pull back a little bit, and again, I apologize for the crappy quality. It's at night here, so the light's not very good. <laughs> if I press it again, it will switch back to my Xbox. So, you can see that this guy works. Again, no external power. It's getting all its power from the sources. Uh, it's good stuff. So I'm very, very happy with this little switch. I think it looks really good. It's out of the way. You can't see anything. Um, you know, again, you know, don't mind all my cables and stuff like that. Eventually I'll get that sorted out. But I just think it's a really elegant, neat solution to this particular problem that I had. Again, my monitor only had two HDMIs. So um, I wanted to basically hook three things up, my laptop and the two consoles. This was a perfect solution. Didn't break the bank either. It was only 15 bucks. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and it's super simple to um, set up. Very easy to work with. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a switch. Anyway, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can grab one if you want. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and uh, hopefully it, I'll be back soon with another video. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.